A Minneapolis Boy Scout troop says they're still adding up the cost after their trailer was stolen earlier this week. WCCO's Alan Henry spoke to their scoutmaster about the crime and how they hope to bounce back. It's kind of where it was parked. Right, was right in that spot right there, right along this curve here. Yep. For years, Boy Scout Troop 38 has kept their trailer parked in the parking lot of the Bethel Lutheran Church in South Minneapolis. We hear about the carjackings and everything else, but we didn't, I mean, it's been sitting here for three years and haven't had an issue, so we kind of hoped that um, we would be all right with it, you know. The Scoutmaster tells me sometime late Sunday night or early Monday morning, thieves came to the church's parking lot and detached the trailer from the fence it was secured to, leaving behind no trail of the trailer. They defeated all three of the main locks and someone took off with our trailer. <laughs> they did come prepared and that's our logo is to be prepared and we, we're trying to prepare the, the Scouts in another way. We're, we're trying to work at uh, leadership and, and citizenship in the community and the society. One of the trailer's locks was found about 15 blocks away from the parking lot. But other than that, there's been no sign of the trailer or its contents. We use a trailer to haul most of our gear. Uh, what we had stored in it is we had some uh, of our camp stoves, some three burner propane stoves in there. We had two of those in there, uh, several folding tables our water jugs and some of our uh, coolers. Combined, the troop estimates the cost is around $10,000, including the trailer. The troop's leader hopes it can at least be a teaching moment. We give them a lot of leadership skills and a lot of other uh, techniques to use to, to get through adversity in other ways, and this is just another, another example of that. Alan Henry, WCCO, 4 News. The troop says they have several fundraising events coming up. They plan to meet on Monday to decide if they will start a GoFundMe or add more fundraising events to replace what was stolen.